D has been taken over by robot. Do you feel dot 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 immersed? Welcome to working with DTS, the TTS working hour. How do you? <laughs> this week I'm supposed to be on vocal rest. Lots of things have been happening, and the rest has not been as restful as D would have liked. But I am still trying to keep my voice used to a minimum. I set up this TTS thing so that I could still stream on vocal rest days. I'm not parasocial you are. Want me to teach you how? Dun dun dun. Send D tutorial time. Are you like D? You use your voice too much for your day job and streaming and find yourself needing vocal rest. Have no fear dot 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 DTSS is here. First and foremost, you're gonna need two programs. Well, more specifically, you'll need one program and one plugin. Plugin. The first program is called TTS Voice Wizard. If you've ever done anything in Virtua, you might be familiar with it. VR Chat. Posted is the GitHub repository for TTS Voice Wizard. You'll want to follow the instructions there and install it. The second thing you'll need is a virtual cable. The virtual cable allows you to add a new digital output or input to programs. You're gonna connect the virtual cable to this program like you would a cord to a microphone. VB Audio has a bunch of different virtual audio software. You're only gonna need the free, single virtual cable. So, step one, install TTS Voice Wizard. Step two, install a virtual cable. You'll need to install its driver and the VB cable thing it gives you, but the website does a good job of walking you through installation. And now let me show you what to do. So let's look at the settings. There's a lot of ways to use this program. You can use it for speech to text and it will create a speech bubble over your head in VR chat. It has many different integrations and even works as your audio on Discord. First, let's go to main settings. Oh man, that's a lot of little things right. Let's go over each section and why it's important. So at the top, dark mode is just preference. I like it dark because I'm an edge lord. The thing that is most important for doing TTS like I am right now is the output transcription and log and the message queue system. I keep auto clear on because it's just convenient. What it does is clears the text box after you hit enter. You'll need the transcript to show the TTS on screen. Next is message queue. This just tells you if you have a delay before the next message or not. More important if you're using TTS with a speech bubble. And I recommend having a 1000 milliseconds delay before audio, just so your encoder has a chance to catch up. On to the fun part. Tilda. So here's the audio section. This is the biggest most important part for this setup. You'll want to set your speech to text to whisper. It really smooths out the vocals, unless you have a highly trained voice model. Next, you're gonna select your input device. This cannot be blank. It's why there is a mic there. So here, I set my mic, and if I wanted to have my mic do speech bubbles for me in VR chat, it would take my speech and put it into a text bubble. You can with this program do. Speech to text to speech, meaning you speak into the mic. It turns it to text and then into a robot voice of your choice. But for this, we're just using TTS. Next, set an output. My output would normally be the speakers I have that are off, but that would result in a duplicate audio for you with my current setup. And lastly, you're gonna use the second output with that new VB audio cable. Make sure to toggle on use down here. Very important, otherwise it won't work. We're almost done. The next part of the setup is your hide text delay, which is just personal preference. And those IP addresses are the local network for VR chat, but D does not have that configured. So ignore those, they are imaginary for this demonstration. The last part of the menu, notice I don't have much of the setup because again, I'm not using VR chat right now. So I don't need to set up the chat box, typing indicator, or the caught avatar replier. You will only need those for VR chat. What you might want is the OBS text overlay. Overlay. Oh my god. That is going to make it so that your text can show up on OBS. OBS. So, now we have done the following. You've installed TTS Voice Wizard. Installed a virtual cable. You selected your mic, your virtual cable output, and a fake speaker output. You've also ensured the output OBS text is selected and that the output transcript and log is on. Now, let's add your TTS to OBS. The first thing you'll do is add in a new microphone. You'll use your cable output, that virtual cable for the mic. Next, let's get that text display. You'll create a new text option on OBS. Mine is just called TTS Text Input, and we're gonna do some magic. What makes the magic work here? 
you're going to select this little box, Read from File. So, you're going to navigate to where you downloaded Voice Wizard. In that folder, you'll find a text file called obstext.txt. This is where the law from your typing is being written. And all of this will start to make sense in a moment. Set up your font, color, etc. just like you would for any other text box. I like to be fancy and use a gradient of my brand colors. I also add a background color, and you'll see why on screen for spacing. So you'll want to make sure you do two things if nothing else. One, align it all center, and two, wrap the text at the bottom while creating a bounds box. Notice I have my width and height set. You'll want to do the same. If you don't, your text will live in a straight line forever. No good. Doing all this will create your text box on screen. And if you have a background with a little opacity, you can resize it and place it on screen. All right, so let's put it together. You've installed the program. You installed the virtual cable. You set up the program and connected the virtual cable. You added a new mic source in OBS that is the virtual cable. And you added in the text box that links to the TTS Voice Wizard text file. Now, when you type into the program, it'll appear on screen and the voice will follow right afterwards. Now you can probably see why we include a speech delay. And that's it. Just choose the voice you want to use from the menu on the right, play around with the settings, or use the voice model you have trained. There's lots to pick from for free though. I hope this helps.